On the last one, we were inexplicably given new powers, which uh, really, truly weren't explained. And I thought, okay, let's see if we can finish reading this journal because um, holy cow, it just took a minute and there was a lot to, to read. So here we go. That founder Ford is a tough nut to crack. I tell you what, he I can tell he's so re hurt real bad about losing Ellen. It ain't right burying your own grandkid. I tried to get him to open up, offered something to help him to sleep or take off the take the edge off the pain, but he just brushes it off. I can see a world of hurt in those eyes, but he prefers to keep it to himself, and I suppose that's his right. Everyone handles heartache in their own way. Those rowdy kiddos scrapped them, scraped themselves up good today, running all over creation, pretending to be mud dogs. One was howling about a broken arm, but it turned out it was just a nasty bruise, thank goodness. It'll heal up in no time. Gotta love their exuberance, but I sure wish they were pretending to be doctors instead of no good bandits. Maybe I should have a chat with Mudtooth about those stories of his. Dwayne came by with an upset stomach. Again, poor thing. I told him, if it looks nasty, don't eat it. We've got plenty to fill our bellies now. No need to eat some weird bug or rancid piece of meat. He thinks it's a skill of sorts to eat anything, but I told him his taste and smell are his body's way of protecting him. Give him the usual to settle his stomach, but it won't be long until he's back for more. Poor Wally, I feel so bad for that one. Some folks think he's a bit touched in the head, but it's not like that. He's just got bad dreams. Always has as long as I've known him. I bring him some sleepy time tea and try to to try and help him every now and then. He humors me, but I have a feeling that tea is just watering the garden and never makes it down his throat. Doubt it'd, be, it'd help anyway, but I gotta try. It's my job to help folks here. What am I gonna do with that old mud tooth? He was as still as stone in his chair earlier, and I was sure he was a goner. Then he scared me half to death with the loudest snore I ever heard. I'm just thankful he was okay. Still, when he's not dozing off, he's ladling up that stew of his. I know he's just trying to help, but I don't think folks know what they're getting into with it. Folks who eat too much of it come knocking, feeling like their hearts are beating too fast and they can't sit still. All I can do is give them some nice tea and try to keep them distracted and calm until the effects wear off. That ain't normal stew. I swear I just about took Riggs over my knee and whooped him. The man was suffering for something like pneumonia and kept right on working like nothing was wrong. I took him just about passing out at his forge from a cave to let me know what was what. The two of us practically had to drag him here. Imagine what would happen to morale if we lost Riggs. Found a, pile, a small pile of scrap on my table the next day. He'd never admit it, but I know it was his way of thanking me. He's so dang nice. Whispers came through for some throat lozenges today. I always make sure I have some around just for him. He was stabbed in the throat a good while back, and now he can't talk. Has to scribble away on that little chalkboard of his. I've looked through all my scrounge, trying to find some way to help him. And I've tried this or that, but there's nothing for it. Can't heal everyone. As Gramper says, flesh prisons will let you down eventually. So you gotta make sure your soul's in good shape, since that's all you get to keep in the end. The longer I'm a doctor, the more that rings true. Reggie's slowed down a fair bit in recent years. I know he's getting on in age, but it's tough to see. Couldn't ask for a gentler soul. He loves chatting, but he keeps telling the same stories over and over. Like he doesn't know he's already said them to you. I've read about this. It's not something I can fix, unfortunately, and it's likely to get worse over time. So I just smile and act like I've never heard the story before. Don't think I could bring myself to tell him I've heard some of them a hundred times already. Anyone callous enough to make Reggie sad doesn't belong in Ward 13. Just like Founder Ford and Bo, our little Clem ain't aging like normal, but there's something to it, but I can't put my finger on it. None of my books can explain something like that. Bo seems to think it's because he takes real good care of himself, but I'm not sure that tracks. That aside, I can tell Clem is sad. Poor girl carries the weight of the world on her shoulders, and much like Ford, won't let anyone in. Maybe a diary would help. Somewhere to vent the things she doesn't want to share. Hmm. Had a nice little chat with McCabe today. Her joints were aching a bit, so I gave her some salve. She works so hard, she comes off tough, but she's really a sweetheart. She'd kill me if I ever told anyone, so I'll keep it to myself. Holy cow, how many more pages do we have? I thought this was it. Okay, whew. He's polite enough, but I don't know what to think about Dwell. He's from, heck, some place I ain't never heard of. He's always talking about some doe and ravager. Gives me the willies. Still, he's one of us, so I hope if he ever needs me, I can help him in some way. I don't know a thing about pan physiology, so I'm just crossing my fingers that it doesn't come up. Heard a rumor that one of our townsfolk is getting jittery and keeps talking about leaving. Hopefully it's just talk. They gotta know they wouldn't last long out there on their own. Our gal Clem can't save everyone who wanders too far outside her walls. I figure I'll try and find who it is and whip up some anti-anxiety herbs to calm them down. That'll be a mite easier than trying to patch them up if they do try and leave. 
Wow, there you go. So there's a little bit of backstory on basically everyone. The one I'm most curious about is the one we haven't seen, and I already forgot his name. So was it Willie, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's the one who got stabbed in the throat, and uh, it sounds like we can plant. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so apparently we can do some uh, gardening at some Mr. point. Well says he doesn't speak English very well. But I think he just doesn't know the answer. Maybe. Uh, what do you know, kid? Says, I talk as much as he does. Do you think I talk as much as he does? I don't think I talk as much as he does. Uh, maybe you do. I mean, this is a pretty interesting garden. They're basically using raised planters for everything. And then there's this one over one area here that maybe they're trying to turn into something. But where's the guy with the chalkboard? I don't know. I just uh, that suddenly has me interested. Like there's a story there. I'm curious if, if that's how you communicate with this person, too, is... I mean, chalkboard, that's all they can do. They can't speak, so... And I guess uh, ASL is not a thing here. So, you know. Okay. All right, well, let's... Oh, I could have gone that way. Bummer. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just uh, go get the show on the road. We've been waiting for something to actually happen. Well, then, you know what? Let's go make something happen, assuming I remember how to get there. I still have no idea how we're supposed to bust out the sword, but for now, let's talk to Ford. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Sure, let's go. And let's not waste any more time. This way. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away, hell. The inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. we all know what happened after that. Okay, I guess I'll open this door that you're staring at. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to. In case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? Yep, this is definitely the ward from the first game. Because this is where you'd go for some type of upgrade. And then another type of upgrade right here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. We got some stuff. That red thing. We call it... A dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Okay. Uh, why are you suddenly running? This is weird. Come on. There you are. Hurry up. And I could also only keep up with him when he's walking by crouching. You know, weird things and all. Are we going to try this again? Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunt. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a key in there. Can't stand around all day. 
thing has to be a hundred years old or more. How has it not gotten broken or lost? Can something so small really provide access to an entire forgotten world? Interesting little quote below there. The wars weren't a mistake. It was the secrets that were. Oh, I don't know why we had to keep them. Hell, a century's gone by and I still have some of their secrets. I never broke the habit, but secrets turn into lies, and lies always come back to bite you. I mean, a shotgun probably would have taken care of the lock. The, the, the world stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! I guess good old player character knows how to use it for no reason. I'm really feeling some holes in the story here. I'm sorry. I just am. Clementine! I mean, Ford! it's fine. But Shit. still. Where are you guys? This is all insane. Both the crystal and Ford. Better get moving if I'm going to find Clementine. Just checking out where we got here. So it looks like this is the edge and not the correct way to go. And unfortunately, I was going the right way from the jump. Whatever. It's all good. Yeah, like, how does this guy know how to use the crystal when Clementine's like, how do you use the crystal? And then, you know, I don't know, whatever. There are things here that just don't make sense to me. And that's, uh, I guess that's just the way it's going to be. I don't remember if the first game was like that. It, I don't know, it may have been, may not have been, but whatever. I'm just going to embrace it. It's all good. We got a shotgun, we got some crazy armor with a bunch of tiny holes that would be impossible to see out of. Let's just go do the things. Eh, what are you? Um, okay. I guess you are nothing because we cannot interact with you. Down we go. Good old Mass Effect loading screen, otherwise known as the elevator. Yeah, if you played OG Mass Effect, then you know what I'm talking about.
Um, okay. Maybe you shouldn't have done that? Wait a minute. Um, hello? That took a long time, and that was completely unnecessary. Are you gonna unlock all the things now? I gotta say, I do like the map in this game while we're waiting for this. Let's see if we can spend a trait point, because who cares? Uh, dodge weight threshold, that might be a good one. Max health, max stamina, mod power generation, and skill cooldowns. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Does it, does it matter? Can I pick one? I don't know how to pick one. Okay, apparently not, so let's not worry about that. Whatever, I'm sure the game will tell me when it's time to do something. Ooh, now entering the Forgotten Prison. So we have an airlock here, now this door will open. Because you don't want anyone to get out of the prison. And uh, if we're entering a prison that's been forgotten, then I think it's probably a good idea to pull out the shotgun and get ready for whatever might come our way. I really do like the environments in this game though, really good stuff. First one, same thing. Really cool, very interesting sort of environments, really cool designs to them. They definitely do that weird sort of post-apocalyptic crazy sci-fi stuff well. With respect, Magister, everything that remains of the Drazir lies within this chamber. The utility of these records is debatable. Very well. You pursue your given purpose as I pursue my own. I can hardly fault you for that. I will indulge. What is Ellipsis Torah? Those who might have attained first-hand knowledge have been swallowed by it. But I too have seen it in what way is available to me. Within your body, the paths of blood vessels, no matter where you start or which direction you take, all lead to the same point. A singular, beating heart. So it is with Alepsis Torah. It is the beating heart of the universe. But it is so much more. There is the taste of artifice about it. It's intelligence. Perhaps Alepsis Torah is that intelligence, or perhaps it is merely an agent of it. I know not for certain. I do know there is volition behind it. The Drazir were born of this volition, as light is born from a star. Yet now, as the universe grows dark and cold, that intelligence has no further need for us. We are to be undone. Not destroyed. Indeed, this intelligence bears little thought toward us at all. We will simply cease, like a dream upon waking. As though we were never real to begin with. That is... If we do nothing, or if the custodian has his way, we will jump back into that beast and be consumed like our brethren. But I have another way. The Ambit Ember has shown me everything. I know how to preserve the Drazir, no matter what the custodian or Lepsis Torah might do. Enough! We should begin immediately. Awaken the others. The shields of this chamber will have spared them the horrors of Alepsis Torah, as they did for you and I. Bring them before me, one by one. I will explain to each what I have seen. I will explain what must be done. 
and one by one, they will make a choice. And when I have spoken with the last, then you too will come to me, Magister. And you too will make a choice. Good grief. That was painful. Play the stupid thing so that it keeps playing regardless of where you are. I mean, maybe I didn't walk away far enough for it to keep playing, but good grief, man. Make me just stand around and listen? Not to see her. Some work of that damn custodian. No, no. Something else. A sentient thing. We bled ourselves in search of you. Yet here, at the end of all things, you have found us. So you were looking for me? Sought, but did not see. Or perhaps I refuse to see. Years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that I never dreamed possible. Yet some things remain out of reach. Tell me, my world, precious Nerud, what has become of it? Oh, I just got here. And yet you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? No, 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 do not answer. I see it now, at the edge of my mind. But, but, but I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common then. We are cut off from our people. And we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Torah, while yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured, our fates bind us together. So, I ask a favor, and will offer one in return. Together! On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, as I was, from the cruelty of Alepsis Torah. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir, our last remaining legacy. Find them, and bring them to me. But not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astropaths. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. Can I ask you some questions? <sighs> ask them. Oh my gosh. So many questions. I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen her? You have seen what remains of my world. Nothing lives save you and I. You will not find what you seek here. What happened to your people? Pride. We scraped the heavens for answers. As if it owed us an explanation. In our thirst for answers, we doomed ourselves. Alepsis Torah consumed us and spat out the remains. What did you mean you searched for me? Not you. What you represent. Life beyond our own. We could not accept that we were alone. We searched for eons. We found nothing. The entire universe. A sea of lifeless rocks yet at the heart of it all alepsis torah and within that fathomless void 
order, intelligence, life. Do you really know my fate? Enough. You must seek the soul sparks. Nothing else matters. Too much time has passed, and the fate of Nerud draws ever closer. Okay, I guess we're done talking. Thank goodness. This game is really, really slow to get going, and incredibly annoyingly so. Like, I don't know, I just... this... this is not working for me. But it's fine, because I enjoyed the first one, and I'm sure I'll enjoy this one once we actually, you know, aren't just stuck with a camera that I can't even turn around to at least amuse me and look at other things. So, it's fine. Let's keep going. Let's walk into this clearly safe room. Um, okay. Cool. So, we have our first checkpoint, finally. Gotta find these souls, Mark. But where are they? Uh, I don't know that we need to rest at the checkpoint. I don't remember if this game you have to, like, activate the thing. Resting in checkpoints replenishes ammo and relics at the cost of respawning all basic enemies in the world. And multiplayer? We're not playing multiplayer, so I don't really care. Um, and we can just go back because we are where we we need to be. Still not sure what the deal is with the traits. Like, why can't I pick a trait? Maybe I need... Oh, I guess I already have one point there, and it's locked, so we can't pick another one. Ugh, blee. Um, maybe we'll take 2% school. School down? School kill down. That sounds fine. Uh, sure, let's just go ahead and commit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't really care. I mean, I'll take some cooldown. That's always a good thing. So, I think we're finally going to get to shoot something, which I've been looking forward to, because I do remember the shooting in this game being pretty good. I mean, we briefly had an opportunity to shoot things early on here, and nothing since, so... Got these weird guys just floating around. I say weird. They're not weird, but... These, uh... Things... Oh, hi. You're an enemy. I get that now. All right, it's cool. Uh, I don't really want to activate the weapon mod just yet. We're going to need some more health stuff to, you know, restore health and all that, so... Oh, my bad. Okay. Do not go into that area. It will make you barf. And poison you, presumably. Ooh, look at what we have here. We have, like, a little... Sort of a hidden trail. Sort of not. Okay, let's not keep going that way. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm feeling really good now about the decision to have a shotgun. Except for that range right there. That was crap. Um, where are you at, buddy? Yeah, when they're up close, they get smoked. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, okay. I just wanted to try this gun out. Uh, let's maybe not continue to use this gun. Wow, it takes so long to activate your Estus Flask. I mean, it really does. Holy cow, dude. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to use my primary skill yet. I mean, I'm going to stomp the ground on flying things? I mean, I guess it'll work. I don't know. It probably does a, a thing where it, you know, activates up into the air as well. We can worry about that in a minute. This looks like this is more don't go this area sort of stuff. Maybe? Hmm, maybe not. I guess that's the edge there, but there is a pathway there. Let's double back a little bit because, man, it, it's going to be... Um, a lot of wandering around, I expect. Um, I just hit the corner of it. Okay. You do what you need to do, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. it seems like we have infinite stamina here. Oh, look at that. Got a sort of fat roll going on. Okay. If you don't know fat rolling, you have not played Dark Souls, you have not played... I don't think Bloodborne has fat rolling, but Elden Ring sure does. It's a thing. It's what it's known as. Oh, there's a guy we left over there, because I wasn't sure if I should be shooting him right away. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm that weird person that 
does not shoot first and ask questions later. Although in this case, it probably should have, but, eh, you know. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Looks like this is all area we're not supposed to go into. I wish it gave you something a little... I'd like just a, a slightly better view of that, but that's okay. Let's go and climb up here and grab whatever this is. A Tome of Knowledge. So we got ourselves another trait point. Excellent. I did not see what we picked up earlier. There was something that we picked up from the ground, and uh, honestly, no clue what it was. We were in the middle of combat, so I was kind of busy. Let's kind of circle back over here. I don't think we're going to be able to climb up this. It's a little too high. I was thinking maybe if we go back this way, we can get up onto this area. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Uh, all right, let's do it. I mean, we got some, some fire bullets going. Hi, how you doing? Here, can I, can I use this right here? Yeah, that didn't do anything. Not that I could tell. There you are. See, I knew I heard others around. Oh, all right, it helps to reload weapons. I have learned that in my time. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we need to reload again, and we're basically out of ammo. Which is handy. I know someone just dropped some ammo, thankfully. Oh my gosh, dude. I have kicked the hornet's nest. Alright, let's grab that. And we're just going to jump over the edge here. And let's use our last dragon heart. Okay. We'll reload eventually. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. I need another checkpoint. I need me some dragon hearts too, is what I need. I should have taken bigger. Always take bigger. Oh, good grief. And that one's out of ammo. I know, that's the ammo we need right there. Oh, the joy of revolvers and reloading one round at a time. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Oh gosh, and we're still not done. Uh, okay, these things seem like they are just respawning infinitely. I mean, I had that feeling, but I thought, let's play it out, let's see what happens. But, yeah, I think they're just respawning infinitely right now. Oh, you're still following, dude. Stop. Ow. All right. Okay. Oh. Like a phoenix, rise from the ashes. Oh my gosh. I'm out of everything again. Okay. I mean, we got something there. Yeah, that did not go well at all. I was actually trying to backtrack a little bit to this place because I thought, eh, you know, maybe we can climb up here. Oh, hi, what are you? You look like you're supposed to be shot. I bet that is a, a bad thing, and I have now screwed my karma in the game. It's okay. I mean, you know, it's just a life of eternal damnation. There is something over here, at least. Okay. Now let's grab that. And then, I think at this point, I have no choice but to go and sit and play a more cautious game of not shooting right. everything. Uh-oh. I'm about to die right here, aren't I? Okay, you, stop. Alright, let's go uh, rest and reset. Since we have a trade available, let's go ahead and grab a vigor. Yeah. Yeah. 
that I think is probably a good a good idea. We're going to need more health. I can see that very clearly. Just as I can see that there's another guy in the way over here. I'm guessing that's our ultimate goal is that place. Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. We can get rid of that one and that one. Okay, anyone else? They sure give you a lot of enemies to deal with, and they don't seem to be giving a lot of ammo back. I don't remember having that problem in the first game. And I still have no clue how I'm supposed to whip out that sword. That could be handy, you know. It seems like there might be something up there. Let's go see if we can get up there just to see if there's anything around. Oh, we got a purple item over here. And I'm intentionally going a little stealthy here. What I think might pass for stealth. An emergency switch, huh? Okay. That is an amulet, so... Presumably... We can... Oh, we're already wearing it. When below 50 health, chance to consume relic on use is uh, reduced by 35%. Final relic charge is not consumed on use, but cannot be triggered again for 60 seconds. Is that, like, did we have one of those and we used it and that's how we we stayed alive? Because we did go down to, like, zero health there. I don't see a way up there without a jetpack. So I'm going to say we don't need to do that. Nope, totally whiffed that shot. It's fine. Oh my gosh, they just... Seriously, look at that. They just pop up from everywhere. Dodge, buddy. Alright, we got some handgun ammo, thankfully. What are you? Let's set you on fire. That seems like a good idea. Okay. Some sort of, like, boss guy. Okay, this is getting intense. I mean, this guy at least is, uh, you know, in fuego. I guess that did something. Oh, you're doing a thing. Okay. Ow. No, it isn't. It really isn't. Oh, I was trying to get away there. All right, we got to get around the corner so we can bust our dragon heart thing or whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not a dragon heart. I forget. Okay, we got some good shots in there. So that was fine. One more reload and we'll we'll have him down. Assuming I don't get, you know, stuck on the wall. There we go. Uh, corrupted Luminite Crystal, top heavy. And I don't know what that is. Corrupted shards, all sorts of things there. Ammo reserves. Okay. Now, does that mean we have gotten through our first boss and that guy will not come back? Because that guy sure had the stink of a boss. He wasn't terrible, but he was not very friendly. I feel like that maybe goes without saying, but uh, we got a got an item up there. Look at that. Some sort of item anyway. So how do we get up there? That is going to end up being the question of this place, I'm sure, is we're going to see stuff in all sorts of places, and the question is going to always come back to, well, then how do you get up there? Okay, okay. um... This is it. Didn't really want to do that. But here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and move a little bit. Anyone else? Okay. 
Grab some more ammo, and then this guy dropped some long gun ammo, so let's take that. That looks like another one of those guys there. That boss guy we just dealt with. I wonder if he is a boss one. Nah, here's just a regular. Take a seat, scrub. We'll get rid of him, too. Sure, we'll take some scrap. Now we're fine. Quit complaining. Oh, there's another one. Where are these guys coming from? They sure seem to just be spawning everywhere. As best as I can tell. So we got some iron. It's cool. Now, I still want to try and figure out how we get up to wherever that spot is. So let's backtrack this way a little bit. I bet it's just iron is all it is. Now that I'm seeing that, I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably just iron. Okay. New perk, close quarters. That was not close quarters at all. Oof. All right, let's go. Ah, dang it, wrong button. This game confuses me. It does not use the standard things for weaponry. Okay. Press left mouse button to do a melee attack. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, that's how you do it. That's right. Now I sort of remember that. You just... You don't have your... You have your gun out, but you don't aim down sights. And then you can bust that out. Got it. Oh, all right. For now. Good. Good, good stuff. Very pleased to see that. Um, yeah, I don't see how we're supposed to get up there right now. Oh, man, we have just left crap everywhere. Ammo as far as the eye can see. Let's reload this guy. No room for that. Yeah, I know. I mean, we technically had room for one. But whatever. I'm just using the pistol as a sniper rifle, basically. Okay, keep climbing, buddy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to jump that gap, I don't think. Can we, like, knock that over? Can you do power attacks? Just okay. No power attack. Got it. That's fine. No complaints. Just checking. Trying to see what we can do. Can we climb up to this one? Yes. And we can get shot by that guy. Thanks. I'll take your ammo, though. Oh, good grief. All right, let's get everything reloaded as much as we can. Okay, you can go away. You can go away. Where was the blue guy? There you are. I wanted to make sure we get that blue guy on fire. Ow. I was hoping that we could get a melee attack on this guy, but that doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Oh man, he's so close. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Quit complaining. We're fine. I wonder if we can go back to the, the main area right now. I'm not sure if we can. I mean, we have access to the world stone thing for traveling, so I assume we can. I wonder if we have enough to go upgrade any guns or anything like that. Um, we have one more healing thing, so let's get into this area if we can. We've been kind of dancing around this whole area. It's time to push into it a little bit. Yeah, I knew that was going to cause a bunch of guys to show up. That was some terrible dodging right there, by the way. You're welcome. So I want to backtrack down here first, since this is the way inside, and there might be something in one of these rooms over here. Although it does not look like it. Fine. That's what I get for my 
explorationing. Ah, oh, crap. Speaking of. Here, let's just ignore that guy. Maybe he'll go away. Or not. Or not. I know, you're coming up from the other way, buddy. Okay, let's reload while we have a brief second here. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. Let's heal up. Last chance. And then we'll switch our view. Oh crap, we need to reload. Get behind the wall! Um, oh hi. Okay. This guy. Not messing around, but we got some crystal and some stuff from him. And we did get another uh, healy thingy back. So that's good. Okay. It's good to know you cannot really melee these guys. I mean, I didn't think you should. Got a melee damage relic fragment, I think is what that was. I don't know. All that for some iron. Holy crap, dude. We have literally done nothing. I mean, I guess we have done something. I just don't know what we've done. And I do not see... Maybe right there, that's our checkpoint. Ascension Spire. All right, well, let's see if we can get over there right quick. Because I feel like we've made some pretty good progress, and I don't want to lose it. And I realize uh, I should probably stop and heal, but... Mm. Also trying not to... Let's see, so straight ahead, not through there. I want to go in there, but I also want to get to a checkpoint. Because we've done a lot of work here. It looks like maybe we have to go through there to get to the checkpoint. Nope, it's right here. Perfect. Good. With that thought in mind, I'm going to take a sit and... Um, nope, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I used the fiery mod thing. Some additional mod time would probably be good. Consumables can be used to replenish ammo, heal your character, or remove status effects such as bleed. You can purchase those in the ward. Using and conserving ammo is an important part of the game. Use melee weapons to dispatch easier foes without expending ammo. Search for ammo. If you need ammo boxes, talk to Reggie. Menly, many, menly, menly deadly status effects in the world of Remnant. Managing status effects with the appropriate curative is important. These can be purchased from Ward 13. So we can return to the ward. Actually, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Traveler. Oh, thank the founder. You, you're alive. Where's... What happened? Oh, man. Uh, a lot. I barely understand half of it. Yeah, I'll bet if the world stone's involved. Maybe, uh... Start at the beginning. You were with the Founder in the old ward, right? Where'd he go? He activated this stone, then he and Clementine Wait, disappeared. What? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? Uh, I haven't found her yet. I need to resupply. All right. All right, sorry. Uh, Clementine, she, she means a lot to all of us. We gotta find her. I'll get everybody together. If she went through the world stone, she, she could be anywhere. Hmm, that's my fault with Ford. I'll find her, Bo. Hey, I get that, but she could be anywhere. Do you understand? It's a world stone. It takes you to other worlds. All right, I'll get Brabus and Riggs. I'll tell them to... to... Oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what's out there any more than you do. Oh, I, I'd be putting the whole town at risk. And Clem wouldn't want that. Hell, it's a miracle you came back. No, we gotta trust you on this, like you said. Is that... is that all right? Sure, I mean, I'm the big champion hero person of the game, right? Uh, this guy, he's constantly looking in the wrong spot, like eye level. He's looking at this dude's throat. It kind of weirds me out. 
Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll find her. Thanks, Traveler. Talk to the folks around town. They should have any supplies you need. <laughs> you, you know, Ford used to tell me, old Commander Ford, not the founder, that a leader and a hero are two different things. The leader's place is always with her people. I thought she was just taking a dig at her grandfather for leaving all the time, but I think I'm starting to understand her better now. Um, I don't have any questions. You know I really don't. Me. I feel like we've had enough of those today. I just wanted to come back to town. Oh, look, at this thing appeared in the middle of town. Huh. Well, ain't that interesting and convenient, because that means we have much, much less we have to do in terms of travel. Uh, let's go upgrade our weapon, because we do have enough to upgrade our weapon. What can I do for you? I would like to upgrade my equipment. And I would like to upgrade this guy. We have enough iron and scrap. Technically, we can upgrade any of them right now. Uh, let's upgrade this guy. Yeah. Because that's the one I want. You know where to find me. Perfect. And then I don't think we have enough to upgrade any armor or anything. Uh, can you craft what something for me? Oh, okay, so we don't have anything that you can craft, so that's fine. Do you do armor as well? Hmm. Oh, we can downgrade stuff. That's interesting. And it gives us more iron than what we use to upgrade it. Although I guess it was plus one before, so never mind. Okay, I think we are probably in a decent spot right now. Uh, I don't know if I really want to go run around. Uh, maybe I'll... Let's see if any of these guys sell anything, because I don't remember. Uh, can I see what you have for sale? And you do have some weapons. Oh, look at that. That sword is kind of cool looking. A big old flail. That's fun. Ooh, claws. That could be a lot of fun. Knuckle dusters. A scythe. Ooh, I'm in on the scythe. That's that's pretty fun right there. Actually, just kind of curious. Oh, yeah, look at that. The, the steel flail does additional stagger damage. I like that. A scrap hatchet, that kind of looks like a pizza cutter. A hammer, that could be a lot of fun, too. A spear, I like the sound of a spear. Wow, I genuinely, I like a lot of the these things. These are good. And we've got uh, an M1 that uses a handle of a shovel, sho shovel for the shoulder stock. Easy for me to say. Oh, I like the sound of that guy. Oh, man, there's, there's a lot of good stuff here. Like, I'm just genuinely excited by All right, the looks of these her. weapons. Keep your gun loaded. Yep. I think we're probably good here. Let's just, um... Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. That is our new upgraded shotgun. We can roll with that. We will pick up on the next one as we go back to whatever that world was and do more things there. Catch you in that one, Tell and Thanks for watching. See you later.